with you guys today we're taking a look at how to hide windows updates to fix a pc problem now now a few days ago microsoft released an update which obviously caused mayhem for a lot of people people were getting blue screen of death and they were also having other issues with other uh, things to do with intel drivers so if this is happening to you you can actually block a update from coming down just that particular update you don't have to block all security updates you can just block that one particular update or driver that's coming down that's causing you problems let me show you what i mean here we're going to have a look inside control panel inside uninstall the program on the top left hand side you should see view installed updates any one of these uh, kb2565063 uh, say i wanted to block that from coming down because it was causing an issue you can hide it from your updates and it will stop it from coming down until you reverse that process. This can solve a lot of problems what you're having with Windows updates, especially a particular Windows updates. Now, there used to be a program that Microsoft used to offer to do this particular task. It was called WU uh, Show Hide dot, uh, Dialog Cab. And this is a program that was called basically Windows Updates Show Hide. And it was a very useful program. And as you can see here, Bruce Roberts was having a conversation on the Microsoft website to ask them why they pulled the link because the links on their websites were basically dead. It turns out the problem was related to certification. It had a certification of SHA-1 uh, signing and it needed to be SHA-2 certification. And Microsoft had now updated that and it's now allowing you to download this file again and this is really good because it means that you can now use this to hide any sort of uh, update that you don't want to receive or some sort of a driver from that update that might be causing a problem for your program you can hide it uh, indefinitely or you can hide it just temporarily let me just show you here how it works you can see here show or ride updates troubleshoot to help prevent computer problems and I'm so glad that Microsoft have actually fixed this now because we can reuse this program and I'll leave the link in the video description of this video. Just goes to show if you're persistent enough, you can actually get things reversed and Microsoft have actually fixed this issue now, which now means that these links are now working again. Show or hide updates. Updates improve the security and performance of your computer, but if an update isn't working, you can temporarily hide it. Windows will not install hidden updates automatically. This means they won't be forced upon you uh, to install, which can cause uh, reboot loops and you end up getting caught in a, a reboot loop and you can't get out of it. By hiding it, it just stops that from coming down. So let's take a look at hiding this update. I can select one of these. Now you may see other updates listed in yours. This is just on my machine. So I'll select this Western Digital Technologies update. Let's just say that this update was causing me problems and I want to hide it. It will start resolving problems, checking your PC, and it will then hide it from download. So it won't ever come down. It won't automatically come down and be forced upon you, which is causing you a blue screen of death or whatever it is causing you an issue with. You can see here the troubleshooter has made some changes to your system. Try attempting the task you were trying before and see if this rectifies the problem. If we look here, we can see issues found and it tells us that the Western Digital Technologies other hardware we've now fixed this by hiding this update it won't be coming down and until we reverse this it will be hidden until we reverse it back so you can print this out and you can click next and close this off you can say has this fixed your problem you can say yes it has if it has fixed your problem and you can close this off and basically now what that means is you won't be forced that update anymore and you're not going to end up with an issue. This is how this program works. If you want to reverse it, you go back into the program and let it detect a problem. Now we want to show hidden updates. And there you go. There is that hidden update that we just hidden uh, from the system. And it will stop this from coming down. Updates are hidden and are not installed. Select the updates that you want to reverse back. Just select this one here. And it will basically put this back to the download and update process, which will allow it to come back down onto the system. So this means now you can pause this particular update or this one file from downloading and installing on your system 
and you can basically just wait until it's been fixed and then reverse the process. If we look at Windows updates as well, there is a pause update section here, which allows you to pause updates for up to five weeks. This will pause all updates. This will basically stop every part of the update process from coming down. So if you don't want to go through this one particular file and you want to pause all updates, then you can do for up to five weeks here, which can sort of save you from a load of headaches where something's forced upon you, comes down, installs itself on your system, and then your system is starting to have major problems. If that is the case, then either block it with the hide or show updates, or you can use the pause for five weeks updates or whatever way you want to go about uh, solving your problem. It's a very great troubleshooting tool. I'll leave the link in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of help to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. A special shout out goes to Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony and Halbert Hewson. Thanks for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.